Hello, today I am going to show you how you can retrieve data from cookies and show here in shopping cart. So, first of all, we have to convert this page from HTML to PHP. So, I have to open that page cart.html and then I am going to convert this page to PHP. So, I am going to save as. Okay, now we have this cart.php. Now, here I am going to run that cart.ph. Okay, good. Now we have this cart. Now, we do not want this use coupon code and everything. Right now, we does not require this. So, first of all, we have to remove that. So, we have to find that item. Where is that? Yes, this is this. What would you like to do? So, select the section, right click over here, and I am going to delete this. It is very difficult to display from cookies over here. Okay, so right now we have just this, and this is most important for us. But in this uh, shopping cart, uh, these all items are stated right now. So, we, we do not need these two records. So, we are going to delete these two records. So, where is it? It is over here. There are three TR inside this. This is the first TR, this is the second TR, and this one is third TR. So, this two TR does not require. So, I delete that. Okay. Now, you can see we have only one record, and this is most important for us. But here, we do not need this type of plus plus something. So, open this, remove this, remove this and here we are going to do right now read only, ok. Now, you can see, ok, it is look good now. We do not need this web ID also. Okay. Now, we are going to start our code. So, I am going to do code over here, start PHP and, and end PHP. So, first of all, we have to check uh, there are available cookies in cart uh, in uh, it means user uh, do add to cart or not. If you are uh, if user did not complete add to cart, then means we do not have any types of item. So, first of all, we have to check that uh, any items available in cart or not. So, this is important for us this much. I copy that and paste over here and just I am checking that user added value in cart or not dollar d is equal to 0 dollar d is equal to dollar d plus 1 and now I am going to check over here if dollar d is equal to is equal to 0 echo no record available in cart ok now save this and i am going to check here we get message or not yes we get right now message no record available in cart but we have to uh, do like this if this record is uh, visible then we do not want to show this because right now we do not have any types of record so here we are going to start else and in this else we are going to put this ok now you can see this hidden but we also want to hidden this also so you have to copy this head and also this t body also t body and paste here and now cut this and paste over. Okay, now you can see right now we do not have any types of record and for we can do like here 2 to 3 br. Okay, so if you want to do any type of p tag background then you can do over here. 
okay now the main thing is if user already did it to cart then what we have to do right now i am going to do id1 in product and i am going to do here add to cart okay now i am going to press enter so you can see the message is hidden and item is here but this is the static item we have to convert it in dynamic okay so now again we have to do coding here in t body again php start php over and now we need and this page is product details page we need this copy and paste over here and 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 start and this code we put here okay now here we have to put our image path echo dollar values 11 of 0 and we have to do like this admin slash because our folder is inside this admin folder and right now we are in user folder okay oh very big image so we have to do here height 100 and width is also 100 now we can see we get here dynamic image and now also we want this dynamic everything we want dynamic so copy this now paste here one paste here two paste here three We did any mistake? Name is good. Oh, two. Year three, and year four. okay you can see here dollar 500 quantity one and here also 500 now i am going to add one more item in shopping cart this is the second one ladies new dress add to cart now i am going to change here okay you can see we get here another record also now if you want to give your run total 500 plus 400 900 over here then we have to do is first again copy this here also we want to display like here paste this now dollar tot is equal to zero dollar tot is equal to dollar tot plus dollar values 11 of 4 now it go dollar t -O -T. you can see we get here 900 so 500 plus 400 so output is 900 and we have to display like this now you can put this in p tail and you can give margin left and whatever you can set over here so in short this way you can create this card from
cookies if you know doubt then uh, you can send me email and if you like my video then you can also um, share this video so anyone can use this and yes after complete this video i will show you the download path so you can download this chart.php from live so you can easily you, you don't need to write any code and you can use that okay thank you so much for watching my video